Rachel here, Certification Coordinator. Let's talk about creating a safe space for you to dance in in your home. Things to think about. Make sure it's clear. Make sure that there's nothing you're going to fall over. Make sure that you have enough space to practice and move in. All of these things are really important. One of the most important things to me is the floor. It's always important that I have a floor that's not going to cause injury to my knees or to my back. So my dance space happens to be my garage, which obviously the garage is going to have some concrete floor. Not so good for your knees and your back. So I invested in say, some pieces of foam that actually fit together. So you can take these and they are interlocking squares that you can put together and easily put across your concrete floor. They come in different widths, so you can go three eighths, you can go a half an inch. Mine is three quarters of an inch thick, and um, it works perfect for me. And as you can see, it's all the way across my garage floor. It works as a gym floor as well. Something to think about when you do have these interlocking squares, the squares themselves don't have a finalized seal. So when you interlock them, there's the possibility that your toe, might catch on the edge. Um, it hasn't really happened to me, but I have felt where it could have, it could have happened. So I also recommend different footwork that you might use if you're going to use this kind of flooring. These are yoga socks, so it has like a non-stick grip at the bottom. And typically what I do is I just put them on the front half of my foot. You can put it on the whole part of your foot, but that allows me to kind of have some extra grip um, without getting stuck into the edges of the floor. Something else you might consider are ballet shoes or jazz shoes um, to put on your feet, because these also help. Um, in some cases, if you're using just a wood floor, these might be slippery, they might not be slippery. So it's gonna be up to you to figure out what works best for you. Something else that's really important is that your designated safe dance space is closed off so that you have the ability to concentrate on what you're doing and you don't have any visual distractions. And if that's not a possibility, that's totally fine. Do your best, work with what you have. This is what I've done with my garage. I've hung curtains on the edges so that I can't see all the storage that's behind it. And I've put mirrors. So if you have the opportunity to put a mirror in your dance space, that would be fabulous because then you can have you're filming from behind if Suhaila asks for it, or filming from the front. Sometimes she likes to have the view from the back so she can see the front of you also. So keep that in mind, your flooring, your dance space, and your shoes. Okay, everybody knows that finger cymbals are super loud. So if you're the one playing finger cymbals, they're even louder for you because they're right next to you. So something to think about and also, is to get some earplugs, some hearing protection, because you're going to want these. The ones that I have actually have a string attached to them, so I can take them out when I need to and put them back in. It's helpful because then they don't get lost. So just remember in your dance space, it should be distraction free. Your floor should be safe for you. You can wear shoes if you want. There needs to be some clear lighting. If you can put a mirror, that's fabulous because we need to see what you're doing and you need to see what you're doing. Make sure you have hearing protection and here we go.